Hi, this is Peter at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is tutorial 141. Now, in our last tutorial, we had the structure set up for swapping our weapons, at least the meshes for them, and this one here is just going to be a continuation from it. So I'm going to open up Unity, and I'll also open up Mono Develop, and we'll just close that. All right, so we've got a little switch case block set up and we're just throwing out debug messages. Now, the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is call a method that will go through all of the game objects that we have in this array up here called weapon mesh and turn them all off if they're not already off. So I'm gonna come down under update and I'm gonna make this private and it does not return anything. And I'm just gonna call it um, hide weapons or hide weapon meshes. And of course it does not take any parameters. And I'm just going to iterate through that block. So, or iterate through the array. So if, oh sorry, for uh, int cnt for my counter is equal to zero. Uh, cnt is less than weapon mesh dot length. And we'll just iterate CNT. And now this is grabbing the actual game object. So now we can say weapon mesh dot, or sorry, weapon mesh, then the array variable, which is CNT. And I believe it's uh, active or enable. It's active equals false. So that'll turn all of our meshes off. So I'm just going to copy that method up here. And right under the debug log statement is where I'm going to put it. Actually, instead of calling it every single time, let's just put it at the very top before the switch block. That way it's only called once. And now that we actually have a method to call that actually hides all of our weapons, uh, we're going to call that method uh, when the game first starts up. So I'm going to come down here and create my awake function. Actually, I'm going to do it up at the top. Well, under here, before the update. It really doesn't matter where you put it, as long as it's outside of the other functions. So void awake. And this just ensures me that when my game first starts up, that all of the meshes will be hidden and then I can just go ahead and activate the one that I'm currently wielding. So we'll save that off and let's go ahead back into Unity and uh, make all the meshes visible uh, just so we can see it in action. And I have one error. Ah, uh, I'm getting an error because I've created this as a non-static member but I'm calling it from uh, something that is static. And anytime you have a function that's static, anything inside of here that it references has to be static as well. So since I'm calling hide weapon meshes in here, it needs hide weapon meshes to be static as well. And in hide weapon meshes, uh, I'm referencing the weapon mesh. So that's gonna be after static as well. And of course, if I make this static, that means we can't use the inspector uh, but there are other ways to do it. Since I've started my awake method, I can go ahead and actually uh, find those meshes that I want and store them in the static array that way. And it looks like that's the way we're going to have to do it. So let's go ahead and make this static. That means this will have to be static as well. So I'm going to save that off. And because it is static, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the extra meshes that I have down there that I'm not going to need. Uh, so I'm not going to need the fork. And I'm not going to need axe one. Because right, so the way I'm going to have it work is I'm going to get the path to my main hand and just say, hey, you know, take everything under main hand and include that in the array. Now it is going to include them alphabetically, so you should uh, take note of that. Uh, but first we're going to want to get the path to this array. Now they, they do have a transform.find, 
which to my understanding is it should find um, any transform in your hierarchy with that name. Uh, I've never had it work right. I've always had to give it a path to where to look. And that's the way I'm going to do it now. So this is my transform here. And the path that I'm going to want to work on is base. Then I'm going to need forward slash, spine up, forward slash, right arm, forward slash, right forearm, arm, forward slash, right hand, forward slash, main hand. That's a quite a long path, but uh, it, it's, it's not that bad to typo. So I'm going to come down to my awake method first. And before I hide my weapons, I'm going to want to make sure I have a reference to where these weapons are. So I'm going to make a variable transform and I'm going to call it so oh, weapon list. I'm going to call it weapon mount because that's actually what it is. It's where all my weapons are mounted. I could call it main hand as well. But anyway, I'm going to have that equal to transform with the small t, meaning, you know, r transform dot find. And I'm actually going to try it out one more time just to see if I can find uh, main hand. And I want to make sure I spelt it right. And I did. So I'm going to come back and we'll, well, we'll see if we get a null reference or not with it. And I did get a null reference. So it, it can't find it. Ah, but the null reference was actually down here. So let me clear this out and throw a debug here. And I'm going to look for my weapon mount. And I want to get the name of it. So this might actually speed a lot of things up because we don't actually have to type in the whole path. So I'm going to start it up again. I'm still getting that null reference. Yeah. I've never been able to find it that way, but my understanding of um, the docs is that you should be able to find it that way. But that's all right. We'll just type it out. So it was base slash, and I'm just going to cut and paste all of the names just to make sure I don't have any spelling errors. Spine up. Forward slash. Oh, sorry, there was a spine before that. I missed that. So it went base, spine, spine up. So I'll just put that in. Uh, from there, we go down to, looks like, right arm. Whoops. And I just accidentally renamed it, but that's fine, because I remember it was called right arm. And I'll just come paste that in. And under right arm, we have right for it arm. And under that, we have right hand. And under that, we actually have main hand, which now I'm just going to call uh, weapon slot. Since that's what I'm calling it elsewhere. So let's save that off. And I'm going to uncomment this just to make sure I'm finding it right. Now we should put some code in to check for it to make sure that everything's right. And if not, you know, put the game in a halt state. But uh, I'm still not finding it, it looks like. Uh, it's coming down to hide weapon. Silly me, I went and uncommented hide weapon. What I wanted was to debug out the name of the transform I have here. There we go. Hopefully this one works. So I start it up, it takes a look, and it's telling me it's called Weapon Slot, which is exactly what I wanted. So I know it's finding it now. So I'll just get rid of this. So now I have the actual slot. I want to know how many weapons are actually under it now. So I'm going to create another variable called int, and I'm just going to call it count. 
and it's going to be equal to weapon slot or yeah weapon mount is equal to oh sorry I count is equal to weapon mount, weapon mount dot get child count and that will return how many children are under it then we're just going to simply create a for loop make sure it's less than count and then increase it and I'm just going to go ahead and assign all of these uh, meshes or the children under it to our, to our array so I was calling it oh, weapon mesh I'll just cut and paste it right in weapon mesh then the index of it is equal to weapon mount dot get child and it wants an index which of course is CNT and that'll be it so I'm going to quickly clear this it should work now and what I want to do is at the very bottom here is I'm going to iterate through them just have it print out the name in a debug log statement so actually I could just instead of doing that just throw it in with uh, this loop here so we'll just say weapon mesh CNT dot name and that's what I want to debug out so we'll just throw the debug in there So we'll save that, head into Unity. Hopefully there's no errors and we'll find out, but there is one. Uh, so it can't convert the transform to an object. Okay, I, I know where that is. Uh, right here we're getting the transform and returning it back, in, assigning it to a spot in our array, but our array holds game objects. So we can just tell it to return the game object of this transform. And that should be okay there. So we got rid of all of our errors. So when we start up, we should get a list of the names and they should be in order. Or we'll get a null reference instead. So let's take a look. And the error is because we're actually trying to use our array before we actually assign the size of the array that we need. So we'll just go right above here. We'll just go uh, weapon mesh equals new game object. And just put the size in here, which of course is count so I'm going to save that off and we'll head back into unity and it should work this time and there we go so we take a look at saying Morningstar uh, Salifi and sword I'm going to open up my player take a look here uh, spine spine up right arm uh, right forward arm, right hand, and my weapon spot. And it is Morningstar, uh, Salifi, and Sword. So let's stop that now. And uh, since it is doing them alphabetically, it makes it a little bit easier up here to exactly uh, be able to go through and uh, order them exactly. So I'm going to come down here right after the debug statement and I'm just going to say uh, weapon mesh and the sword right now is currently the third one in the list and since the list starts at zero it's going to be actually number two so we'll just set it to active equals true now this is actually a bad way to do it because we're gonna to have to keep coming in here and changing the uh, the numbers as we add more uh, but the video is getting pretty long and I want to hurry up and get this done so we can go on to another part. So I'll just make a note that this will have to be updated a little later on. Uh, the Sliffy, oh sorry, the sword is one. This is two. And the morning star was zero. And the default is none. So what it's going to do is hide them all and equip nothing. 
So let's start it off. I'm going to start up the game. And you probably heard my son open the door and yell down at me. All right, uh, we didn't get all three here. So I'm gonna open up another chest and try to get a sword. And there we go, we got them all now. So I'm gonna clear my console and I'm going to equip a Silifi. Uh, let me just hide my character panel since we don't really need to see it. We know the, the button works. So I am gonna rotate my character and it actually equipped the wrong item. So let me just take a look here. I got the sword there. Let's try equipping the sword. And that's giving me the Salifi, which isn't what I want. But the Morning Star works. So I have the indexes wrong for the sword and the Salifi. And that's because W comes after. Whoops. W comes after I. I blame that one on my son coming downstairs and distracting me. <laughs> All right, so let's start it up. And stop it. So I'll come up. Of course, he always has his shield on. And I didn't get all three again. But I did get one in here. Alright. So I'll move the character panel over. Equip a sword. He's got his sword. Equip the Silifi. He's got that. That's a mean looking axe. <laughs> and the Morning Star. All right, I don't. I did have a way to unequip. So there we go. As you see, when you get rid of your weapon, it uh, puts you back down to just having your fist. Anyways, that's it for having our meshes pop on and off. And I am getting a null reference here. So let me just take a look at this since I can't have longer than fifteen minutes. And that's due to we really should make a check here to see. Uh, what weapons equipped or we could also just check to make sure that we, we have anything equipped at all so we'll just say if equipped weapon equals null meaning that we have actually no weapon in our hands so we're using our fist uh, don't bother trying to check to see what uh, weapon mesh we want to activate because we're not using any so we're just going to return and what this does is just uh, basically say if you know if we are using our hands don't bother going back down here just pop out and well we're skipping the activating of a mesh so let's go back into unity I'll start this back up uh, there should be no errors and I'll run over open up a chest hoping I get all three items in the first one and I do and we'll equip the Salifi there it is uh, we'll do the morning star there it is and of course we'll grab a sword and there that is. Now the problem occurred when we unequipped an item and then tried to equip another one. So let's put the X. And we'll notice no error. It's now skipping the trying to activate a mesh that we don't have. Anyway, that's the first tutorial I've done. That's going to be over 15 minutes. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.